good day sri lanka is blessed with a reasonably good expressway network today so today i thought i should talk a little about our expressway system and how it evolved the reason is i was heavily involved in some of the expressways and the other expressways were designed by my students so i am professor mtr jaisingha uh, i graduated from morotto university february 1987 after entering it in august 1982 and i read for phd on at engineering department cambridge university i was attached to churchill college they have this college system where we live in the college we study in the department so we do research in the department but we live in the college college is the place where you get accommodation and also in addition to that we can get involved in many activities and a uh, lot of uh, opportunities for engaging in sports rowing squash hardball cricket table tennis tennis you name it can do anything you like and also undergraduates get their individual tuition at the college so it's a very special uh, education system so at the college you have junior common room and senior co- middle common room and it's called mcr and we belong the post graduates belong to mcr and then we have senior common room and that is the uh, the post docs and the professors so it's a but uh, churchy college was uh, actually a brain child of uh, sir winston churchill who won the second war world war for uk and he looked at mit in america usa and then he decided england uh, cambridge also needs a college which concentrate more on science so at in church college generally 65 to 70 percent is science and the remainder is arts and sri lankans like to stay in church college a lot because uh, you know accommodation is good it's away from the city so so you can you can always cycle to the city and uh, facilities are very good the rooms are it's a modern college so all the facilities are superb so sri lankans like churchy college a lot so let's look at uh, so i my phd is on artificial intelligence but my the domain is uh, continuous bridges with the pre stressing and i uh, sorted out a problem uh, i gave a theoretical solution to a big problem that baffled many senior design engineers for nearly 50 years so my phd is purely a theoretical phd which is uh, considered as one of the uh, rare rare ones because most of most of the phd's are based on experiments but uh, if you can develop a theory for phd then those are very special ones and we have one more lecturer who did a theoretical phd and he is a professor he is dr tusita sugathapala one of the brightest that we had in our batch of uh, 1982 to 86 completed the degree in 1987 february so my background is on bridges and i am a bridge engineer when i came to sri lanka but later i mastered tall buildings and today i can handle any kind of design without any effort so our first southern highway was actually uh, colombo katnayaka expressway but uh, it never materialized uh, so basically the first southern expressway became southern expressway which has a total length of 200 kilometers from uh, kadavatha to mattala kadavatha to mattala sorry uh, kotta to mattala 
Kottao to Mathale is uh, Southern Expressway. And uh, Outer Circle Expressway is E2. It is from Kottao to Kerala Pitiya. And uh, then from Kerala Pitiya, it, it was extended to Kadavata as well. And E3 is uh, Kalambu Kattanayak Expressway. E4 is Central Expressway, Section 2. From uh, E4 is Central Expressway, but Section 2 is uh, from Kur- Meerigama to Kurnagala. And, uh, and we have E6, which is the Magampura Expressway from Andaravaiva to Hamantara. There's a small arm from Andaravaiva to Hamantara, and that is only 16 kilometers. That is E6. And E4 is Central Expressway, Sections 1, 3 and 4 to be completed which has a total length of 137 uh, kilometers, only 40 kilometers from Kurnagal to Mirigam has been completed. And stage two uh, to be open, stage one uh, will be opened in about one and a half years time, which means uh, from uh, Mattala, we can travel directly to Kurnagal on an expressway. And in addition to that, one poor expressway was also awarded. And uh, Ruanpur Expressway is from uh, Kahatudua up to Palmadula and uh, already awarded but uh, because of various financial constraints. Uh, this expressway will be uh, uh, with the advance already paid, Maga Engineering will complete this expressway from Kahatudua to Horanaf in the first stage. And then we are having uh, another arm uh, for this uh, central expressway and that is from Athurugiriya to Kalani, Kalani Bridge and that is an ele- elevated highway of 17 kilometers that is also uh, that is under construction will be completed in 2025 and port access elevated highway is also under construction and it will be f- uh, it will be from uh, uh, it will be completed towards the end of this year it's only five kilometers so those are the expressways. So we are we are going to have about uh, uh, that is E9 is port access, and E6 is uh, Magampur expressway. E4 is central expressway. There is no E5 at the moment. There is no E6 and E7, and those might come because Ruanpur expressway is yet to be named. Uh, so we the, we don't know whether it will be E7 or E8, whatever the name given. So basically because the expressway is still just started and I will be helping. Uh, I have told uh, the current Director General who is a very good friend of mine to whom I taught how to do bridge design about 20 years ago. So uh, he is now one of the expert bridge engineers in Sri Lanka in addition to being one of the top highway highway design engineers of Sri Lanka. So basically, road development authority is full of expert engineers who can handle big projects. So Director General himself is a top engineer. And uh, so basically, uh, we'll, we are going to have a meeting on how to use the more latest advances of Eurocode to minimize the cost of construction so that within the given Within the tender value given, Mag Engineering will be able to complete the project with a profit despite the huge escalation of costs we have seen. For that we have to optimize and we have to give a value engineering solution. Generally we charge a lot for value engineering. Basically we charge 10% of the saving for value engineering. But this time I decided I am going to do it free, free of charge to help this national project. So if you look at uh, Southern High Expressway started, the foundation stone was laid by uh, the UMP government of 2002 to 2003. And then it was started and it dragged on delays and it was a highway of four lanes up to Kuruga Hetama and then from Kuruga Hetama to Matara two lane expressway. But uh, later they realized, you know, there's no point in having two lane expressways. So because of that, the Kumagai company, which was given the task of constructing from Kuruduga Hatama to Matara, was asked to concentrate from Kuruduga Hatama to Gol and convert it to a four lane highway. So this was, uh, there were so many problems. There was a collapse of a bridge in 2009 and then I was appointed 
the chairman of the uh, presidential commission. The other members were <coughs> Dr. Maharu from Peradeni University and Institution of Engineers also appointed a senior engineer from uh, who has ex vast experience in irrigation engineering to investigate this matter. And uh, so basically we had one Sinhala member, one Muslim member and uh, one uh, Tamil member. So basically I don't know why, whether they deliberately selected it or not. But uh, so, so probably those days they wanted to represent. This was 2009. So these days we don't call Tamil, Muslim and all that. We say we are all Sri Lankan. But those days, you know, those uh, differences were there. Now it's 12 years since uh, end of war and we all know there's no point in calling us Sinhalese and Tamils and all that. We all call us Sri Lankans. So this Southern Expressway, uh, it, was, uh, 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 it was played with so many uh, problems and uh, so because of that we investigated, we highlighted the problems and then we were and later once the commission is over uh, you know they realized that the problems cannot be solved easily so they appointed Admiral Vasanta Karanagod as the secretary to the ministry he was a very honest person and he gave a huge leadership uh, and he worked very closely with uh, engineer Nimal Chandasiri and Nimal Chandasiri is one of the finest engineers we ever produced in Sri Lanka a graduate of uh, 1980 from University of Morocco, eight years senior to me at the university. He eight years older than me, but he's a brilliant brain and one of the best engineers I have ever seen. And he's, he can design bridges on one side of a half sheet. He's a very talented person, the most talented bridge engineer I have seen come across up to now. So he was he was involved and then he was the made the project director for this whole Southern Highway. Within uh, less than two years of his appointment as the project director or the senior additional project director, he did not accept the uh, project director post because he thought uh, uh, it is an insult to the project director who was already doing it. So, uh, so because of that, uh, Mr. Chancery acted as the senior additional project director and he got it finished. In less than two years of his appointment, Southern Express was completed up to goal and it was open to traffic in November 2011. Then, immediately after that, government decided to extend the road to Mathura. So uh, again, Mr. Chancery was given the task and uh, the consultants were from all from Sri Lanka. And uh, it was a stretch of a road where two lanes were already completed. When you say two lanes, it's a fairly wide road because you have to allow four uh, and two additional lanes. And it was widened to a proper four lane highway. And uh, for that, uh, the contract was Chinese and uh, the consultant was from resource development consultants headed by Mr. MBS Fernando who was a chairman of road development authority earlier. So they did a fine job and it was all completed in 2013 and the road was opened and the total cost was only 4 billion rupees, 4 billion rupees for 32 kilometers of highway and because it was only an upgrading of the already completed road, but there were few stretches where the road had to be completely constructed. So that is the stage one of a step, sorry, that is the first, first part of my lecture on southern, uh, on highways, on expressways of Sri Lanka. Thank you.